on the on the radio that you know Wani Wani kept talking about he wanted to be the leader and I kept trying to explain to him that the best leaders I've ever had are guys that lead by example and guys that uh, you know that they, they're the hardest working guys in practice every day but they're also the guys that know what we want you know it's hard to it's hard to lead people in a direction if you don't know what direction you're going and he's done a great job he's done a great job of trying to digest what we want done he's done a great job of leading by example he's in the gym early he stays late you know he's he has put in a bunch of time and i think the same for aaron harris and, and really terry's been the same model terry's been hurt but those guys those three guys have really done a good job gary brown has too but i think wanting probably um probably knows more of what we want which a point guard ought to, ought, ought to know. I just felt like coming in, they couldn't press us. So I, and I didn't think they could press him. He's just, he's got great strength and he's got great quickness, great explosion. He's just, he's hard to press. And, you know, he's doing the things that you have to do now. He's keeping it off the sideline. He's keeping it off the end line. He's, he's getting the ball in the middle of the floor. He gets his head up now. And I mean, he's, he's improved tremendously. His ability to hit 15, 17 footers help him and help you guys because he didn't even have that to see much last year. It's a pretty obvious answer. I mean, <laughs> um, he's worked at it. I, I, I think that's the thing. He, you know, he and he and he was struggling. He struggled for a couple of days. Didn't make as many shots. And he, he was in here with Ronnie. I think before practice and and stayed afterwards with Ronnie. Uh, whatever day it was. I mean, it might have been yesterday. Um, he's put the time in. That's, you know, I think when you put the time in, you, you uh, it helps your confidence. And, and, and then he made, you know, when you make the first couple, I think that really helps. But he, when he makes those, he's really good. He's really, really good. Because you, you can't, it's hard to keep him from getting in the lane when he wants to get in the lane. You want to borrow mine? <laughs> Will you give up rebounding for good shooting? Is that a fair trade? No, I'd like to have both. I don't know why we can't have both. No, Justin, I just sat down. It was a total team effort. I mean, I, everybody contributed. Um, our guards didn't rebound. Our, our bigs didn't rebound. And and we as a staff and me personally, I did a bad job because, you, you know, you got so much stuff to get in. And we were, you know, they, they play so – so many multiple defenses. They, they, believe it or not, really have been basically a man-to-man -man team. And then they came in here and played 1-3-1 one, one, and played played the 1-1-3 one, one, and played it all pretty well. And they really didn't, until the end, didn't press the way they normally press. They didn't diamond press. Their run and jump was, we had them spread that it was hard to run and jump, but they really didn't. It was more kind of a contained deal. And, you know, so there's so much to get ready for, particularly when you got all those freshmen, you're trying to get them, in, if not in the right place, get them the hell out of the way. You know, and and um, so we just didn't we didn't emphasize it as much as what we have before, and and you know I think when you when you don't do things well when you go back and look at your practice schedule, uh, about a hundred percent of the time you didn't practice them, and we just didn't we we kind of let it go and that's my fault. What is he? Yeah. Frenchman. He's a Frenchman. Yeah, he's a Frenchman. <laughs> uh, I don't know what he is, Bob. I, you know, we we made a conscious effort, as I said, to get some guys who could make some shots. That you know, guys that they had to guard, and and, and really, I thought he played pretty well for coming off of what three weeks. He practiced two days, maybe. I think it was two days. May I practiced a day before? I think the uh, the Fairmont deal. So practiced a couple of days. He, I think the biggest thing that 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 all of them are kind of getting getting to understand is you have to keep playing. And he missed a shot that he normally he would have had his head down and you know standing there talking to himself about why it didn't go in. And he makes a great effort to get back and and kind of knocks knocks the ball enough that 
that uh, Wani gets it, and Wani made a great play splitting those guys to go score. But uh, that's a, that was a great hustle play that, that he would not have made before. That wouldn't have happened before. Yeah, and I didn't think that ever happened. I mean, early on watching him. Uh, I think he wants to play. I just, you know, you, it, it's kind of you hope that it, when they get to where they want to get, they don't get satisfied. But I think he wants more time. Or he wants some time. He hadn't had any, really. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't play an Ohio State scrimmage. And Is there a rotation change? I don't know. Uh, I mean, I Jawan Staten's going to play a bunch of minutes. Um, he's playing probably too many now, but I have to because Gary's Gary's not Gary. And I think when Gary gets back to being Gary, we can maybe give Wani uh, some rest. But you know, Jason, you don't know what happened. Nate sprained his ankle again. I, you know, every time he starts limping, I'm thinking, oh God, you know, because I think I'm afraid it might be his foot. And he said it wasn't his foot, it said it was his ankle. But it's the same ankle, he sprained it about three times. It was sprained, he sprained another four or five times. It won't make any difference when you sprain it, you know, it doesn't, there's nothing in there to tear, so it doesn't swell anymore. But um, he'll, you know, he'll he'll do what he's supposed to do. He'll be in here early in the morning. And But we just don't have, you know, it, it, we, it'd be nice to have them all. You know, I I, I probably uh, probably should have got Chase back in the game. I, it's just it it's you know when you sit there and you say go after the ball, go after the ball, go after the ball, go after the ball, and then the ball comes and you bat at it like it's a you know like you're a student in the stands batting that beach ball around. It's just frustrating. So. Did you play them at all? Who? Terry, Terry, no. No. Well, they played zone, which helps, and and I, and honestly, we we have done we have worked really really hard, and it just it kills me to watch all those layups. I mean, it just kills me to watch those layups. But you know, it's either that or foul everybody out. I guess I just don't understand what the, all the excitement is about watching layups. <laughs> I just don't. I don't get it. I get you know, apparently that's what they want to see, but I think it's awfully boring watching layups and free throws. If I keep saying something, I'll get myself in trouble. I haven't to this point. How about what you got from Brandon today? You know, Brandon does some good things. Brandon has gotten uh, worlds better. I mean, just absolutely worlds better. Uh, there were a lot of lot of people that didn't think Brandon would make it because he, you know, he, he just he was so slow with everything, and he's he's really working and he's trying. He's just, you know, he's he's got so much to learn. Just so much to learn. I mean, obviously, played down at Mountain State for a year. Did you guys see him? Mm -hmm. there? I mean, mm -hmm. Wondering what you, know, you saw from him then. Has he changed a lot as a player over there? He's he's does, he's bigger and stronger. Yeah. He played at Mountain State for Rodney Crawford, who who played for me. So. He has a little bit of an idea about what we're trying to do. Anything else? Yep.